Michael here. Um, made a video about this yesterday, but I just felt like I should go a little bit more in depth into it while I'm on um, a little bit better camera. So, basically, this is going to be a how to guide to stretch your ears on how to keep them, you know, good and healthy, not blow them out, the do's and don'ts. Um, so, let's get started. Alright, basics you need to know. Hold on. basics you need to know on stretching your ears it's not technically called gauging I've called it that before technically when you're in anywhere from a 20 gauge to a double zero gauge you are in a gauge system so it would be okay to say that you have gauges but it's not called gauging your ear but me I'm at 7 16 of an inch right now so technically I don't have gauges <laughs> excuse me anyways the way that most people struggle oh shit the way that most people stretch from smaller sizes up is they use a taper. What a taper is, it's this long... I'll just show you a taper, and then I'll kind of... Like... This is a... This is a two-gauge. It's a two-gauge taper. Basically, what a taper is, is this long piece. I mean, they can be short. Like, I have a pair, you know, this is zero-gauge taper. The long, and it's an incline to your side. So basically the way you do it is you take it and you you, you, know, you just push it through. Not fast like that of course. When you're using a taper you want to go slow because you could blow out your ear, you can you know. And I mean I guess it would be okay to use tapers up to a two gauge because it's not that bad but I would not recommend using a taper up to like a half inch. This is a half, a half inch taper. I bought it and a pack of three. Double zero, seven sixteenths, half inch. And well, when using a double zero taper, I blew out, well, I didn't blow out my ear, but I, I ripped it in my left ear. Um, you've actually, you know, if you watch my channel, you've seen that video. This is a nine sixteenths taper. Notice how it's really small. Okay, this, well, shit. This would be like super shitty to use. Like, this would not be good to use. Don't use tapers. A friend of mine gave me these. Oh, fuck. Right. Next thing I'm going to cover, oh, you know, along the lines of stretching is don't skip sizes. Skipping sizes will cause you to tear or blow out your ear. You know, it's really not good. Um, also, while I'm on that note, Both of these are silicone. This one is a ear skin, silicone ear skin. Notice how it's super, super thin, stretchy, and I can squish it and roll it around and everything. And essentially how you put these in, you take it, you squish it, you fold it like a seat, you put it in the hole and you just let it pop. Alright, this one is also silicone. It's not an ear skin, it's a lot thicker. Basically, you put these in the same way. I would, I was never able to get this one in, unfortunately, because I could never fold it because it's so like small. This one's a two gauge, I believe. Yeah, this one's a two gauge. But you should never stretch with silicone because it can adhere to your ear. It's very porous, is what it is. Basically, porous means it has little micro pores in it, and while your skin's healing, it it'll heal inside of the pores and it'll, you know, become one with your ear. I used a silicone to stretch up to a zero gauge from a one gauge. This was my one gauge plug. Um, right here. This was a, this is a one gauge plug I had somebody make me. Let's see if you can... Yeah. Um... Another way to stretch is you can do the taping method. I have never personally done that one yet. Basically, it's when you take any single flare plug and you wrap tape. This is electrical tape. Don't use electrical tape. Don't use duct tape. Don't use scotch tape. Don't use any tape that's adhesive. You want to use bondage tape or um, I think it's PTFE plumbing tape. There's a kind of medical tape that I heard about, but I don't remember the name of it. 
And basically, I'm just using this as an example to show you. I would never even use this. Because, you know, it's just terrible. Basically, what you do is you take it. Damn, I don't have any scissors. Fuck it. Take it, and see, notice how it stick to my skin. You know, you don't want to do use anything that does that. You know, take it, of course, you don't want to take a strip, you know, this big. You kind of want to take half of this, but I don't have any scissors with me at the moment, so just fuck. Basically, what you want to do is you want to take it, and you want to, you want to wrap the plug like this. You know, give it a nice, even wrap. For some reason, it won't go. You know, like a nice even wrapper, you know, close to even, whatever. And, you know, just cut off the access, like cut off the access in the back right here to where you can put an O-ring. Yeah, basically, this is what a tape plug looks like. Um, again, I've never done this method, but I've heard it is amazing. You know, I know a lot of people who use it, but yeah. This one is probably going to be a tad bit longer than my last one was. So, I mean, if you want, you can check out both. Um, if I got any of this information wrong, please let me know. And, you know, I'll, you know, correct it in the description, which is going to be down there. I want you to read the description because the description is going to be some tips and websites that you can get some good stuff from. All right, guys? All right, anyways, back to what I was saying. When stretching your ear, you never want to go in dry. All right. I know that sounds very sexual and wrong, but you never want to go in dry because if you do, you have a better chance of tearing or blowing out your ear. You really also never want to dead stretch. I mean, I do it only because the kind of plugs I dead stretch with. Uh, for an example, all right, these are seven six inches. You know what? I use these to stretch. And my ears are fine. Ba mainly because, like, you see how in the back here, it's basically like a double zero. It's kind of like a taper. Like, it's a little tad bit smaller here, back here, than it is here. So, essentially, you know, the guy who makes them makes them easy to stretch with like that. And after that, you know, you let it, you know, let your ear calm down, and then, you know, you can leave those in if you want some third plugs, or you can pop a pair of these in. I recommend popping a pair of these in, just because, oops. Yeah, single flared 7 sixteenths. Anyways, um... You always want to have some kind of lubricant, um, whether it be vitamin E, jojoba, tea tree, um, bio oil, emu oil, stuff like that. You never want to use like Vaseline or anything. It's not good to use. And I use like to clean them and everything. You want to keep them clean. You know, you don't want to like keep them really dirty to where like they start to smell and all that. I use witch hazel to clean. You can get it at your dollar local dollar store, Dollar Tree, Walmart, you know, freaking pharmacy, pharmacies and shit, um, I know I'm forgetting something, what am I forgetting, um, what am I forgetting, um, oh, types of plugs, alright, I guess I can go into that really quick since this video is already about like eight min eight and a half minutes, so, why the hell not, alright, there's many kinds of jewelry, by the way, tapers are not jewelry. You don't want to... Let me see if this is a 716 taper. Because if this is a 716 taper, I will show you exactly why you don't want it. Yeah, it is. Notice how it dangles. You know what? It's, it, it's weighing my ear down. All right. The smaller tapers, I mean, are a little bit more... Popped right out. Are a little bit more okay, but none of it's okay to wear. Because it weighs your ear down, and it, you know, oh shit, um, they're just not good. Anyways, types of jewelry. I might as well just leave this out since I have it. Hold on, guys. I mean, and one of them I'm going to show you, I mean, I don't know if you guys can get, but I can definitely get them, so. Of course, there's more than what I have. I don't have that big of a, a collection. So, I mean, I'll show you guys my ear. 
that's what the the hole looks like. It's a tad bit saggy because I've torn this one twice. Anyways, back. okay. Types of jewelry. There's three kinds. Like there's single flare, double flare, and no flare. I don't have any no flares. I had a pair of no flares, but I get I gave them away. I sold them actually. But anyways, this is a single flare. Single flare essentially means that one side flares out, meaning one side is bigger than the other side, and you put an O-ring on the back. There's double flare, which has two flares that flare out. This is a silicone. It's a double zero silicone. Your skin, I'm just going to show you how to put it in. I mean, yes, it's not my size, but you basically fold it up like that. Pop it in your ear. Boom, you let it go. You'll notice it has a tiny gap right there. Just because it's not, just because of the fact that it's not my size, you have, yeah. and then you have your screw-ons, which are a type of single and double flare. I, I consider it because I mean, when you screw it on, it's double flare, and when you screw it off, it's single flare. I guess it's a single flare. I'm not sure. Materials: you have stainless steel. This is one is also stainless steel. This one's a screw-on. You can just dun 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 dun. Da, 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 two pieces and then you just and then you just screw it right right back on which I can't seem to do there it goes alright this is a 2 gauge by the way this Batman one is a 2 gauge anyways stainless steel which is what this is you have silicone nice squishy soft material you have these that the guy at my local tattoo shop makes the laboratory they are a surgical grade plastic and he hand makes them every single one of them they're really awesome this is acrylic 10 gauge acrylic clear plug you don't want to use acrylic to stretch with because of it's also porous I've used acrylic numerous times to stretch with I mean it's never really affected me but I mean, just for the people, you know, that it may affect a little bit, you know, you just don't want to do it. Um, you don't really want to wear it either, but I mean, again, I've done it, so. But that doesn't mean if I do it, you do it. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to mention some shop, some shops, websites that you can get some really good shit at. Um, Body Jewelry Source is a good one. King's Body Jewelry um, is another good one. Um... Personally, I haven't gotten any from either one of them, but, you know, I plan on getting it, like, when I get my labret pierced. I plan on getting something from, um, uh, Body, King's Body Jewelry, I mean, to wear. Yeah, I'm gonna get my labret pierced. Right there. And it's not gonna be the vertical one, it's gonna be the center of the bread. Um, I'll make a video of that when it's happening. It'll, you know, be in a few months from now. But, um... I mean, you can get some plugs from Plug Your Holes. I ordered a pair. I'm still waiting on them to come in. So that'll be a part of the update. You know, one of my next updates. Um, they're at a half of an inch because that is my goal size for now. I'm going to stay at a half inch for a little while. Um, yeah, that's it. So I think that's it, at least. Again, guys, you know, guys who comment, if I forgot anything, please let me know. If I said the wrong information, I'll fix it in the description, which will be below there. And if you want to check the description, you know, check out those websites. Um, I will probably put a link in the video also. I'm not sure where at. You know, it could be there. It could be there. Might not even be at all. So, um, but there will be links to them definitely in the description, without a doubt. Um... So yeah guys, thanks for watching, rate, rate and subscribe, like, leave your comments, you know, and I'll try and get more videos up daily. Alright guys, thanks.